Good morning. Good morning, Caterpie crew. It's morning somewhere. <laughs> That's right. And today we're about to go and look at yeah, an apparently massive PlayStation collection. Yeah, so we really don't know what's all there. They they said on a phone call, maybe I'll include a clip right here. Nope. That they have 500 games, some systems. They said like, they said Nintendo, PlayStation, some other stuff. We don't that, know. It was a heavy there. emphasis on PS1 through PS5 and yeah. then maybe some Nintendo so, we don't know. know the condition. We don't know what to expect. We don't know anything. Yeah, this is actually a connection that Justin hooked us up with. They approached Justin and said, hey, if you want yeah. to buy our games? He's like, I'm out of the business. Yeah. I trust these guys. So, so it's, it's thank nice you, Justin. That, yeah, it's nice that, you know, treating people well has, has paid off for us. And Absolutely. It's, yeah. Hopefully it'll pay off today. We're going to yeah. bring you guys with us. We're going to, um, you know, buy the collection, hopefully. Yes. And then uh, go through how we're going to sell it. Mm -hmm. um, and just all the things that go with running a video game business. Yeah. One thing we try to always do when, especially coming to a collection buy where stuff is still on shelves, is bring our own bins with lids so they can stack nicely in the van. We know we'll probably have plenty of space. So we're coming out to the barn to grab them. <laughs> it's such a mess right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thumbnail. <laughs> well, guys, we're here. Um, they kind of set us up in the room, gave us a couple of chairs to go through. We're just going to kind of quantify everything that's here as much as we can. But this is a little bit more than uh, we bargained for, I think. That's kind of, once you could keep looking. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, over here, like all of those boxes have games too. Like this one mm -hmm. has PS1 games. Yeah. Um, you got 3DS, there's Switch, there's... So, so what's kind of the first step um, that we're going to do? Are we going to go system by system? Yeah, that's, or that's how I want to Or kind of it. shelf by shelf, so... Yeah, like, there's all PS2 here. There's another shelf of PS2 over there. We might start there mm -hmm. um, and just kind of uh, stack things based on like value, kind of get a value idea, um, just so we can be as fair as possible in our assessment. And... Go from there. I think all the discs are over here. Yes. So, so all these are just cases. These are all PlayStation, PlayStation, PS3, Xbox 360. Yeah, so we probably will have to kind of verify that the PS4 game discs are all here too. Maybe both these are PS4 then. I wonder if all the ones on the shelves yeah. have. Or like, are all these ones full, or is everything? Yeah. Let's just open. Let's do one game per shelf and see. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out this one. Okay. Okay. So like that one's complete. Let's see if another one on this shelf is. Okay. Okay. It's good because I didn't see any of those cases labeled PS2, so I saw yeah. PlayStation, PS3, PS4. Okay. So maybe some of the. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to check. But. I mean, he took really good care of his stuff. Yeah. It looks, it looks pretty good. He got a lot of it from Justin, from the game bar. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so this one's not in there. Maybe this shelf doesn't have them. Okay, so these are ones that might have been played a lot more. Or maybe newer editions. Yeah, maybe, who knows? Maybe these ones were packed away more. All right, let's so, dig in. Do we start with PS2? Yeah. Let's start with PS2, and, and we'll kind of point out some of the special ones as we come across them, and just show you guys the best of the best, and let's do it. All right, so right off the bat, you've got some PS1 long box games right here, like Crazy Ivan. So now, pretty much any PS1 long box game is is pretty, it's uncommon. Yeah, they're, are, they're harder to find. They were early release but on Are PS1. all of them good? Not all of them are good. Some are good. They're like, this one's good. It's kind of uncommon. Crazy Ivan. Then there's Kiliak down here, which is a decent one. So there's some decent ones here. Mm -hmm. um, this one's got cool art on it. Criticon. Yeah, Criticon. Crit Criticon. Okay. So we are going to have to do some disc hunting. Yes, for sure. Um, but honestly, what we could do to kind of help just know very quickly if all of them are here, get a total count of the PS2 boxes and get a total count of the PS2 games. Right. Just be like, if it's the same number, then we can assume somewhat that every single one has a Check home. Check for key, key yeah. games. Yep. For yeah, sure. I think all these are going to be in there, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. There, there's a lot of a very, we, a very wide cool, uh, range of stuff. Should we bring our tubs in here and just kind of like put a value on each tub as we put stuff in the tub? Because how are we going to keep it organized? Yeah, how do we... I'm also thinking if we don't have enough money. Oh, we're, gonna have, we we're gonna have to untub everything, <laughs> right? Or do we just leave yeah. it here? Like, right. Okay. But you're saying initial, think so. I guess I mean we can stack on the bed here for now. Yeah. We can go. We can go grab some tubs and at least do PS2. See if it works. Um, well, like that because I mean a lot of these are already in boxes, which is nice. Yeah, we might nice. not have to move them, but. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me grab a couple. I'll open up. Bring in. I'll bring in like two bins, or three. Yeah, or just maybe just the whole the stack. Boxes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got some bins. Sweet. So these ones are the ones that have the games. These so far do not. Okay. So we are gonna go through and check them all pretty much. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll get a count. I guess. I, I like your idea of just counting up how many empty cases there are and then how many PS2 discs there are because there's okay. gonna be. A... Yeah. All right, well, let me get uh, all these ones in boxes, then. Well, I, I kind of want to add them up as I put them in. Okay. Uh, not a problem, not a problem. Sorry, so sir. We'll I would say... I'll organize you value and put them in. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so I'll put stacks of complete here, not complete here. Yep. Cool. All of them. Manuals are in very... Very good shape. There are some you can tell if they got them from game stores. They have some stickers. Yep. Chase, when did they discontinue the PS2? The PS2 was the longest running system in stores. Yeah, because they were still selling them when the PS3 was in stores, correct? Well, for a long time into its life, yeah. So why was that? Just because PS3 I mean, was kind of a flop at the launch? They made or? The slim and it just kept selling. It just sold like well over 100 million units. Was it just because the system was so good? Or you think the mixture of games and all that? Or I think it's good controller, good games, solid system, mm -hmm. tons of options. Yeah. This is a fun game. So this one was labeled PS3, but it is actually... PS2. Okay. And there's there's eight per sheet. Okay. So we got. We'll count the sheets. 16, 24, 32, 40, 197. So there's more discs than. Yeah, I mean, we got those over there too. Oh, okay. So Sweet. It, Seems like it'll balance. And maybe out. there's some more in there. There could be. Okay. So 197 is the number for that. Yeah. Okay, we have all the I these as well. Those are all empty. Yeah. So we'll we'll still have to do a check. That way we can put them those in there. Now, is there a um, certain maker of games that you like to look for when it comes to um, PS2 or just really any collection? Is there some kind of yes. studios or many studios that are good? So yeah, like some of the games that I look for right off the get-go, production-wise, are Working Designs. That's a huge RPG-type maker. Um, Atlas is another good one. And then I'm looking for action like action-ish, uh, anime, RPG, that type of game. Those are the ones I look for first. And then we go from there. But this, there's a mix of everything in this collection here for sure. It's from Spider-Man to SpongeBob to shooters to mm -hmm. everything. Present day Chase jumping in real quick. If you like all of these buying tips, selling tips, there's so much stuff in the private Discord, the Caterpie Crew Discord, link down below. Consider joining if you want to dig deeper into business. There's a ton of people that are super smart. Some smarter than me and Sky Guy in there for sure. <laughs> it's true. And uh, <laughs> we've got a great community that wants to help. And that's where you go to grow if you're willing to put in the work. So consider joining. Check it out down below. Yeah, that's 
where PlayStation 2 has the most movies turned into games. Like from feature films such as Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> yeah, case in point, Meet the Robinsons. Here's a good one. What's that? Oh, it's a demo CD. Mega Man Legends 2. So it's the second disc for Mega Man Legends, oh. which is decent. So we've got that. Def Jam Vendetta. We want Def Jam Fight for New York, yeah. right? That's the good one? That's a big bow over there. Oh boy, here we go. This is a nice one. A really nice one. What is it? The Misadventures of Tron Bond. Tron Bond. Is, it's Mega Man related and it is um, very rare. So if I find the case, find... It'll be a PS1. Oh, that's a PS1 you're going through, okay. Yeah. There's a ton of PS1. Finding Nemo, Treasure Planet, there are a lot. Fight Club. So I'm telling you, just movie after movie. Treasure Planet, Fight Club, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Fantastic Four, Aragon, Shrek the Third. They're all movies. The Golden Compass, another one. Well, this wasn't a movie until later, right? No, based on the movie from New Line Cinema. Yeah, they made so many games for the PS2. God of War. From Russia with love. I'll have to show this. So there's just... These two things are just more... Oh, wow. So PS1 those are... Games. They're, not, they're not in there, so I'm going to assume... These three books are full, probably. Okay. Probably another 500 discs. On just a rough guess, but... Okay. Now, so far, how much of these are, like... Um, kind of filler type yeah, games. It's, it's all across the board. Yeah. yeah. I'd say like most of them are like popular games, right? Yes, a lot of them. Spyro. A lot of them I've seen before. Yep. But that, uh, you know, Misadventures of Tron Bond is the best thing I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. 364, 65, 66, 67, 68. 68 here. I would say that puts it right on the money. There are some burned. Games. This this whole pile as well is burned. Yep. So we definitely need to verify. There's some burned Dreamcast games in here, and then burned PS2 games in here. Mm -hmm. So we, we will make sure to get an accurate count. Yeah. So that's 68. Okay. Right. I said 68, not 67. <laughs> Five, six, 106 plus 68. 174. We had 197 discs, but some of those were demos, some of those were yeah, so it other things that... Pretty much checks out. Now let's yeah, take cause we didn't give me want... five random cases, and I'm going to verify the discs right okay. here. Yep. So let's do... Let's try Jet. Jet. We'll try uh, Hot Shots Tennis. Do Kingdom Hearts. Give me a something over here. Got a war. Yes. Jet is good. Got a war. So this one has a spot for. It okay. already has a special so features. Just one there. Yep. So ones that there are. There's a few that have the other disc in here. It's like just the game disc is missing. So this one set. Yep, that one's good. Okay, there. so let me find Tycho Drum. Let's see if he had any of these. So it's a good thing that there's more games in here versus cases. If yeah, there are more cases discs. than games, then there'd be room for concern. Yeah, so so far we're we're checking out. We just we don't need to put every disc in the case as long as we can basically see that everything's there. Okay, so maybe maybe no on Drum Master. That one came from over here? That, yes. Alright, let's do one more from over here. Okay. Red kill. Sure. Here's Roadkill. Okay. Well, that one could be a fluke, or it's in a random spot in here. All right, let's do... Let me take another random one. Let's try... <laughs> Thunderstrike. Go back to the T's. Right there. Okay. So, pretty good. Yep. Um, okay, we'll try Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. And we'll see if one and two are there. 
I'm seeing all the 007. I'm recognizing two, a lot of these. One. Okay. This, this is, is two. two. Yep. So. Okay. Looking good. All right. Say the bulk of the games are definitely there. Yeah. Maybe that's a fluke, or there's another hidden. It could be one somewhere. More. Yeah. Cool. So I can pretty much go through PS2 and assume their values. Okay. Um. Then from there, we just work our way up the PlayStation line. Yeah. Finish with do, PS1. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go to PS3. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of special edition looking stuff and there's some sealed PS4 in this yeah, box. Say, like if you can set aside stuff that's there for me to start valuing up, that would be some good thing. Like the sealed stuff. Okay. It's yeah. It's pretty mixed up, so I'm gonna okay. I think honestly mm, well, let me just scooch this out of the way. There's just a lot. Whee. Feels something. Okay. This looks like a lot of. These are all pretty common. So, stuff in this closet might be in there. Mirror's Edge is if that rock band is. Okay, so maybe it's. Oh, maybe I had Ultimate Alliance 2. That cover looks more familiar. Okay, so these are all... This one has 650 in value. 650 in value? Yeah, I'm going to flip here too. On to bin number two. Bin number two. All right. There's a lot of games for PlayStation 3. This is where the yeah. shift in collectability definitely switches. The Xbox 360 and PS3 era. Definitely harder to find high value games. Um, there's random ones like Splatterhouse and like kind of horror games. I guess I would say I would I would gravitate to, especially for PS3. But for everything, mm -hmm. horror games are going to be good. Yeah. Even DVDs and VHSs. Yeah, like it, that's a good genre to look for if you're going for value. Um, but a lot of PS3 games are just going to be lower right now. That's just because they made so many of I mean, all of them. They're not quite like to that collectible point like a PS2 or GameCube yeah. era is. Because so. I mean, PS2 was when I or PS3 was when I was in like middle school. Yeah. Like. That's. <laughs> and you're young. Right? I know. Like, so it's still not like, like the only game I really seek out playing is Star Wars Battlefront 2. But really, that was a PS2 game. Interested in this box right here. See some Pokemons and stuff. Excited to get to. Oh yeah. yeah that's it, definitely an intriguing. Does one. does seem like it had a little bit of water damage, so hopefully this whole box isn't like that. There's Splatterhouse, yeah. There you go. You found one. Yeah. That's cool. It's not like a crazy home run, but it's a good one to look for. It's hmm. about well, 75 bucks. Oh wow. It's more than I thought you were gonna say. All right, so just about all the PS3 are set. We have this whole stack. There's still one more little row I'm gonna get right here, but Splatterhouse this is a good one it's to look for. the best one of the batch so far. It's at about $75. Yep. No hollers at all. And then probably in that $5 to $10 average range among these. Mm -hmm. You've gotta go through those, and then we gotta, I'll start counting how many discs we have for PS3. Yes, that sounds good. Okay. Now, Chase, say somebody approached you with pictures of all this stuff. You couldn't really see what was inside. How is your strategy different price-wise? Because yeah. obviously it's, it's a very good thing to look at everything in person. Yeah, so, so normally what I, what I prefer is everything to be already in price charting or game eye or something where it's cataloged, and then I can look at that, make the offer based off of that, and then verify the condition in person. This situation was a little bit different. Um, they have a collection that was acquired and they don't really know much. So I'm just going through and valuing it as well as I can, as quick as I can and as accurate as I can. Checks out, I did find Splatter House. Cool, and then you counted these ones as well, so. Yeah, right? I did, I did, yep. So cool. we got the book here and then 
this whole thing. It's all, yeah. He took, he so took far, good so care good. of his stuff, so. Indeed. Might be one or two that's not, I don't know. 168. So there's 210 PS2 games, 168 PS3 games. Okay. And then we have probably 150 PS1 games, I or 200, because we have all those as well. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. Okay. Um, Let's start valuing these up and getting them in bins. Okay, I'll get out PS4 stuff, or yeah, maybe let's just... Yeah, PS4. Okay, we'll just keep it on, keep it on theme. Wow, Ryan's Toy Reviews. Race with Ryan. That's gotta be uncommon. Nope. So Chase, a lot of people are probably wondering, how can you value everything up in your head? Do you have some kind of brain gift, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a strange gift with values of video games that I sell a lot, but I've been doing it for a lot of years. Yes, so don't can, worry if you... I come within 20% on a collection. Because so. market shifts up and down all the time with buy right. boxes and Amazon, so... Yeah, this um, bin's at $590 so far. Okay, and that's all PS3 stuff? Yes. So it's a bin full of PS3, I'll get a few more in there, so it, each bin has come to right around six, a little over 600 so far, because the games are just kind of in that 5 to 10 average range. Mm -hmm. Some are 20, some are 5, some are 2, some are Yeah, 10. and we can't sell anything under 10 on Amazon or yeah, we eBay, don't really. We could, but we don't. Yes, yeah. just because it, it takes so much time and... Yep. Yeah. The, the lesson being, if you don't, <laughs> if you're not able to price everything in your head, that's okay. That's what uh, scanning yeah, and putting use things the into. Yeah, you app or mm -hmm. the eBay sold listings, and those are going to be your best bet to find values of games. And then for a collection of this size, again, if you're newer, the best thing is price having them all entered one. into price charting. Yeah. And uh, do your values based off that. Absolutely. Okay, so, sorry if you can't see too well. But I might pull out these boxes. These are all like deluxe edition kind of things that need to be packed with their games or foul. Like there's a lot of just random. Like this is just the box. Uh, but there's also some sealed stuff mixed in. Like this is a slip cover. It's another just box kind of thing. So I'm going to set these off to the side. And we'll see what we do with those. So here's this box. There's another sealed game in it. Monster v Viator. Viator. Monster Viator. Something. <laughs> Little Worlds. Some various more. It's like common games for the most part. 147 PS4 games. Not bad. Alright, we found another bin of PS2. And I'm going to go through them all real quick. But this means that we're missing some discs, potentially. So, maybe this is the box of To Be Completed, or maybe another shelf was, or this one's complete. Well, it's not complete, but it has the game. Ooh! The Legend of Dragoon PS2 sealed. Legend of the Dragon. Of the Dragon. Big difference. Well, make up, make up your mind. I've said Legend of... The dragon in the past, but it's been Dragoon, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna be more careful. That's true. You had made the opposite mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is an Xbox case, but it's still complete. Maybe it's just those top ones that weren't uh, complete, and everything else is. These might have just been ones that he didn't play. Okay. Yeah. And to be honest, these these look like ones I wouldn't play either, so... Loading. These are complete. Okay, just pulled these from the closet since we're on the topic of PS5. So we have Shantae Risky's Revenge. We have Returnal. Nothing in there. We have Resident Evil Village. Nothing in there. Let's see, these are the deluxe editions. This one is sealed. That's cool. Puyo Puyo, Puyo, Puyo Tetris 2 for the PS5. And the Devil May Cry 5. There we go. All right, so we have four bins full. 
four bins full, probably an average of 125 games per bin, which is 500 games. That's 500 games right now. The value, 1630. I'll add up the value. So we're, we're, we'll be paying so far about 1500 bucks. Okay. Um, assuming they, you know, accept the offer and stuff, but yeah, right around 2900, 3000 in value. So with a lot of work and with, we have to put all the games oh, back yeah. in the cases. It's a lot of work, but um, it's good some work. of the stuff it's we might not be like. able to really sell. It'll probably have to be garage sale kind of. Yeah, there'll stuff, be some right? garage sale stuff mixed in, some bundlers, and then a lot of Amazon and eBay type stuff. So the whole gambit. Cool. So we have a pretty interesting box here. I'm gonna take you through. I might honestly set it on this chair and move this tub. Yeah, I'll move that tub. Anyways. Sorry, Chase. Oh, good. Um. So, like, we got main, mainly Nintendo seems to be the theme, but there are some, like, Xbox and PS1 things scattered out, or scattered around, so, you can, shoot, even some PSP. So, I'm assuming, okay, these are in there. So, I'm just going to kind of make a pile with all this stuff. I'm assuming everything is in here. There's no reason to take out these kind of things. I, I could see the argument for, you know, all the discs. Um, so, yeah, let's let's do that. All right, so I'll take you through some of the, the Switch stuff. Um, so that was complete. I Like I said, I have a feeling all this stuff will be complete. This is the Police 2. Cadence of Hyrule. Okay. Oh, Travis, not again. Travis strikes again. Bare Knuckle 4. Yeah, a lot of these are the special edition type things. Got a race with Ryan again. He even had a Switch game. Good for you, Ryan. Proud of you. We got classic Skyward Sword. Hyrule Warrior. Got Super Bomber Man. Now for a Switch. You really like Switch, Chase. It's like one of your favorite systems. Is there anything that you look for with Switch games? First party, baby. First party. Cool. <laughs> Mario, Zelda, Kirby. So we do have Pokemon Moon here. However, this one, this cover does look like you picked it up at a GameStop, but it is pretty... There's some water damage, which is really unfortunate. So maybe if we have a better case, we'll swap out the game for that, and then maybe just have this case instead loose yeah, versus a really nice one. one. Yeah, how much is this is this game worth on Amazon currently? 10, 15 bucks, it's not much. Really? Yeah, Moon is Oh, it's, it's Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun? Yeah, those are a little better, but like 20 maybe. Okay. What, what ones am I thinking of? It's Omega Ruby and Sapphire? Yeah, I mean, you get up to 30 with those. Okay. Oh, there's even some Dreamcast. Wow. Blasto. What the heck is this? <laughs> okay, well, there's a lot of other stuff mixed in, so I'll just keep, keep kind of going little by little. This is the switch before the switch, or during the switch. on the lookout any Vita games except probably this one so right now based on their values uh, my current cash offer for the five bins is 1850 and we haven't touched ps1 which will be the most valuable system so the value is right around 3500 I usually come in at about half to factor in for fees time yeah. Yeah. all the things which most game stores do between 30 and 40 percent so I try to beat them in cash all right so we have Kirby's Pinball Dreamland. All these Game Boy games are in custom cases from customgamecases.com, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> these are like legit are nice. Game Boy cases. I'm guessing all of them are in here. Everything in this bin has been in here so far. The manuals do vary. I'm going to separate this Dreamcast and just focus on Game Boy and GBA. And I miss, I miss a good old GBA. I wish I would have kept more cases. Alleyway. Now this is one of the very first 
one of five of the very first run Game Boy games, correct? Alleyway? Yep, yep that is one of the first. Came out on launch day. Spongebob, oh dude, this is a great game. Play this game if you can. <laughs> Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, any of them. <laughs> it's funny that they made <laughs> the Spongebob movie game so good. Double Dragon, Game & Watch Gallery 3, Solar Striker, Tiny Toons, Little Mermaid, F-Zero for the GBA, Game & Watch Gallery 2 for that, Balloon Kid, and Mickey's Dangerous Chase. Yes? After the right price. <laughs> Alright, so all these are, are here. Probably just going to leave these in this box, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So then we'll look at these, we got Driver 2, it's obviously right all, there. What are all here? Okay, so I'm finishing these up right quick. It looks like all the Dreamcast games will be in here, but it's also a mix of like PlayStation. Are these all here? Yes. All, uh, all that stuff. Quake 2 Arena, this is all like mismatched stuff. Elmo's Litter Adventure, Elasto, this, this, Elasto, sorry. This one's interesting, looks like Batman with a toupee. I always wondered if that's fun. <laughs> it looks like it'd be fun. But, you know, maybe it stinks, let us know in the comments. Now we got, oh, complete all these. Are good. What'd you find there? Bunch of Game Boy games. No. Oh. Alright, so going through this top shelf, a lot of it's just empty stuff. Some DVDs, some empty cases. These just look like various manuals and stuff. Some PS Vita things. Not really much value to any of this stuff. But it does look like there's some special edition things, like a one piece special edition wristband kind of thing. So maybe it'll help complete boxes of stuff or something. And all these are empty. These are just all empty cases, so. I'll leave them on the shelf until we find home for those. These are all more anime and movies. Special. This one's marked special. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Alright, let's say we just pull five random from each box, double check that it's empty. I'm okay. just assuming that they all will be. Yep. Hydro Thunder. There's a ton of, ton of discs. Yeah. Um, Snake and Filter 3. It looks like he always took out the main game. I oh, took out both in this case. Okay. Spyro, you're the dragon. Yep, so they are all empty. Now, how much time do you think it'll take to <laughs> kind of put everything in its case? <laughs> Thankfully, everything's alphabetized, but it'll not take hours. not the uh, not these. Yeah, these are random, but the the discs in there, yeah. So you can find them quickly, but you gotta shuffle through, go back and forth. Yep. All right, so basically, what we need now is a count on the PS One, and then we'll I'll count the discs. You count okay. The cases. Okay, cool. And are all these, have you checked, are all these full or empty or what? I have not checked. I'm just going to assume empty. Possibly. Okay, so we can at least start with these. Sounds good. We're going to do a count. All right, so with these, we've got 156 discs needed. All right, counting the last little bit of PlayStation. I'm at 481. So this is plus... Discs. Plus 60 in here, because I think some these of the can be trolled. Four disc games. So. Okay, yeah, some are four, some are two. It's spot on for what there should be. So, yeah, 541. Okay. Um, that's including all these, everything in the closet, this and that. So that's the last of it. So, yeah, that's, basically probably 500 PS1 games. Yeah, 500 PS1 games, and then what, probably everything else, another 600 maybe? Yeah. Comfortably a thousand games. Yep. Alright, so we had to go grab more bins. We brought 12 of them and it looks like we're going to use quite a bit of them. Maybe nine of them? Yeah, nine or ten. 
my film. Well, film six of them so far. I'm, Scott, I'm going to put aside a stack of ones for you to look up okay. so you can verify the values. Okay. Sounds good to me. Other than that, we're rocking and rolling. Okay, been going through some. This little stack is worth 105. This is currently at 35. This one is a little bit better than the rest so far. About 40 complete was the highest in really good condition. This one has some stickers and stuff, but I think we could still get 40 for it. Doesn't look this bin right super here common. Is worth $1,915. Holy cow. We're gonna be paying about $1,000 for that bin. Yep. Well. Wow. Wow. So, these PS1 games have been a doozy so far, huh? <laughs> There's just as many yes. PS1 games as there are everything pretty else. much everything else, so. Yeah. Um, thankfully, they're all, they're all in pretty good shape. This one, this one isn't. <laughs> it's cracked, but, <laughs> like, for the Overall. most part, yeah, they're, they're all pretty good. So, I'm just kind of taking them out of a little holder over here, and then if they need of value or if we're not sure on the value off the top of our heads i'll look it up real quick um any super heavy heavy hitters yet i still haven't found the tron case yeah that one that's a difference in how much if there's no case It'd be significant okay so hopefully we find it Alright, so 11.45 for this guy. What was that? No Tronbon case. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So let's look up how much Tronbon is. With and without yeah. <laughs> completeness. That's definitely unfortunate. Uh, disc only is still about 250. Wow. Okay, that's actually a lot better than I thought. Yep. Cool. And the condition was overall pretty good, right? Yeah, the disc looked pretty good. So, this probably is in that 250 range. Okay. So Add that's... that to 200, which I have here. So that's 450. Yep. And so this is kind of a safe guess, but still kind of risky because not all the games are directly in there. So there could be some that are missing. But I, I think it's a very safe bet that everything is well organized and, yeah, that everything will be there. So... However, if you were in our shoes and that wasn't the case and you didn't really know what you were walking into or who you're dealing with, a lot of empty cases might not be a very good thing. Yeah. <laughs> we it's a good wouldn't... thing we know that most of the discs are definitely there. They are down to kind of odds and ends. There's lots of boxes of, you know, special edition stuff or just, Pops, just empty. Pops, consoles, most of the stuff for them like the consoles are not there at least like the switch and some of that stuff but we do have some of the figures and controllers and whatnot over here so we're getting there we're almost finished yeah so what, what's our next step let's do consoles first and then let's go to controllers okay and we'll see if we can find any of the boxes to match stuff okay Kirby mm -hmm. Mega Man. Going through some of the various stuff. These look like Disney Infinity. Yeah, Darth Vader is the only one really, in, right? Or is he even uh, not very he's good? He's okay, yeah. Better than the rest. <laughs> and the rest are bad. People imaginators, but I think they're just the starting ones. Yeah. So you can identify imaginators how? It's by their unique base. Yep. It's not a specific color, but it is that specific shape and size. It has this kind of decorative design around the base versus something like this where the bottom is just green and boring. Usually it's a nice platform. So kind of going through the boxes, we're going to get this Imaginators PS4 box. Um, it's a good one. We do have this character, this character, this character, and that character. So yes, we're we good. Do. We can actually see the list of all of them that it comes yeah, we with. we might have all those. Yeah, I think we have it all. Yeah. Um, normally we wouldn't <laughs> do much with them, but since they have the box, that's nice. We've well, got a couple of Switch 
boxes. I assume those are empty, right? Yes, they are. These are going to be... They have the switches still, so we'll leave these back. Okay. Um, and then we'll grab the super... The superchargers. It looks like it just... Do we have any of those? Maybe. Okay. I know we have the game. Um, and Trap Team for PS4. Okay, so it comes with this dude. Maybe that guy? Maybe that's the one that it comes with? Yeah. And then the Switch Imaginators box for sure. <gasps> oh, this is where this one comes comes in. Oh, okay. Okay, so that, that helps a lot. Um, you said what other? The Switch Imaginators? Yeah. Okay. That's the most rare version of Imaginators. It would have been nice if the game was here. But it was not. Unfortunate. Alright, anything else? We don't do headsets. We have a Mega Man thing. We got some Disney Infinity. No. Got some Lego stuff. We got a Starlink Battle for Atlas. I don't, I don't know what that is. That goes in there. No. So those are somewhere else. We don't have those. Okay, anything else in these boxes? Let's see. So we have... Uh, PS Vita, Japanese something. Oh, we have this figure. I'll look yes. that up, maybe. We have that figure handy. This is PlayStation TV. I don't think it's yeah, in there. Okay. Um, I hope we have this. Okay. Okay. We do have two capture cards. Yeah, these are actually both both decent capture cards. Is it? PlayStation TV is good. Oh, perfect. So we do have that. We have both of these capture cards over there. Oh, that's a shame. Rushed. Um, we do have Imaginators PS3, but that's not anything. This is the portal pack. It includes this little thing in the game. I don't know. Oh, why not? Let's take it. Okay, we do have the game for it, so. Yeah, we do. Um, PS Vita Borderlands 2. Yep. Um, I don't know if we had this character. I didn't see him in there. I didn't see him. Okay. Um, we did have the Ryan's toy review thing. I don't know if we have the Ryan's car. Yeah, we've we... got the game. Okay. I mean, might as well we'll try it. Okay. And then nothing else. Screaming my name over here. Maybe it's Screaming Chase's name. What do you think? <laughs> I'll do one final sweep, I guess. <laughs> um, this guy. Yeah. 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 I like collecting. Yeah. I don't need it. Let's be honest. <laughs> These are cool, though. Ball, earthworm Jim. Mm-hmm. So then, these are all burned games. Just double check the Funkos. I think I saw any of those. Neo Contra, Yu Yu Takabushi. Wow, it's like every game, but. Wow. That's impressive. Okay. Uh. Alright, so. We added a few things to this lid and we'll put a $300 price tag on that. Okay. That's been 10. Get yourself a receipt book, folks. So we have PS4 in the box. Oh, yeah. Let's finish putting all these. It's not going to be much value on this one. <laughs> this is not a fun box to pack. one yeah okay. just about right because we've already valued up the games and the figures so these are just the boxes just the magazines and a couple of games yeah so and that one it's empty okay i don't really want it we have this the box is not usable Correct. um kind of oh yeah corroded PS1 Classic is there. 
Genesis feels like it's in there. Is that any good? I don't know. Nope. Got Mega Man crap mode tank. Just shy of 10,000. I will be at 4,900, 4,880. That's a lot of work. <laughs> How long have we been here? So long my watch is dead. We've been here about three hours. Okay. Just shy. This will still be a lot of work after the fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even loading it up. <laughs> so everything we want is in a bin. Every single thing. Yep, aside from those two boxes, but that's okay. Double check this stuff. Yeah, any. They don't look like game guides or anything. It's our manga. Okay. Okay. Well, shall we make our offer? We shall. All right. These are the first ones that I talked to you about. Yeah. Um, everything in bins is is what we have factored in. So everything else where you can sell in a garage so, sale or do whatever you want to do with. Cool. Some of it does have some value. You'd be able to do pretty good, but we just don't need it. Cool. Yep. Oh. Hopefully it's more manageable for you. And so you got you got all the things that yep. the, the controllers, controllers, accessories, the consoles we got in one of them. I think it's this one, and then one of the boxes is on top yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I, yeah. I, I, I could have guaranteed you there's nothing that doesn't have all the accessories and cords. You know? <laughs> yep. It seems like is everything that, is accounted for. Is uh -huh. it really? Oh, I yes. knew he was real particular. Yeah. Just what yep. you know. He, so I knew. Good. Yes. I'm glad. Yep. Okay. So what are we talking here? All right. So. The, based on the value and then what I where I need to be, it would be at four thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars cash. Sold to the yes. highest bidder, yes. Let me, let's talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give us a minute. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Of minute. course. Take yeah. your time. Take yeah. your time. So what did you come up with? Uh, basically forty nine hundred. Okay. Sold. You forty nine fifty. I'll help you carry them out to the. <laughs> <laughs> How about I just come up to an even five thousand? Yeah. Because I appreciate you guys' kindness. And yes. <laughs> well, I yeah. hope you, I, you know, I know all the stuff is here. It's just, my yeah. God, I was overwhelmed oh, yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. Last couple bins. You know what we could do? Put the green one right in that slot and make everybody mad. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 12 bins plus one. We brought the perfect amount. So we did. We brought the perfect amount of cash. We thought we were only gonna fill six bins, <laughs> which would have been about 500 games. Yep. But there was more like a thousand. So. Yeah. We're gonna go say bye real quick and give you guys an update. Sky guy's done being lazy. He finally has gotten to editing editing this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was actually a really good collection buy. Kind of crazy to buy another like thousand or 1100 games right after buying 50,000. But what's 51,000 when you already got 50,000? <laughs> We had to make it happen and the connection actually literally came from Justin at the game barn. So shout out to him. Shout out to these people for hooking up, hooking us up with a deal. And I know that they were really happy with the amount that they got. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We got to get to selling some stuff. So we'll see you guys next time. Bartle do. What are you doing, Sky Guy? I'm walking. You got two. I got nine. <laughs> What's that poo? Efficiency. <laughs> <laughs>